Okay, so here's a problem. <clears throat> this uh, car, let's see, uh, travels around uh, the portion of the circular track, has a radius of 500 feet, uh, and so it says when it's at point A, it has a velocity of 2 feet per second, and it's increasing at a rate of, so the velocity is changing at a rate of 0 0.002s uh, in feet per second squared. Determine the magnitude of its velocity and acceleration when it has traveled three-fourths the way around the track. All right, so it's starting right here at A with a velocity of 2 feet per second, and S is, is measured from here. S is the, the distance that it travels, okay? And it says its velocity is increasing at 0 0.002S. So we need to know... Um, the magnitude of the velocity and the acceleration when it's traveled three fourths away around the track. Oh man! You, sometimes if I'm not even positive, you know what I'm, what I need to do. A great, a great technique method for these problems is just just slow down and write what you're given, write what you're trying to find, and then start working on the solution. So so I'm given that this v initial is two feet per second and the the radius of curvature of the track is 500 feet and that this v dot is 0 0.002 s what is v dot what's the change increasing of the velocity that is just acceleration i'm told that the acceleration is 0 0.002 s and you see that's only the tangential acceleration all right, and I want to find the velocity and the acceleration when S is three-fourths uh, around the track. S is three-fourths around the track. All right, let me work on the solution. All right. Let's start with one of these. Let's start with, um, you know, I, I can start with either of these. Um I don't know. I'm given acceleration. Maybe I'll start trying to find the acceleration uh, when S is three-fourths the way around the track. All right, so if I want to find acceleration, I need to find both tangential acceleration and um, normal acceleration. Uh, but I'm, I'm given tangential acceleration, so this is just point zero zero two s So I, I just need to plug in the s value when, when it's three-fourths the way around the track. What is that s value? Um, you can do it a, a number of different ways. I, since it's a circle, I like to just say, okay, if, if it traveled the whole, the entire um, distance, the entire circumference of that circle, uh, it would be going at 2 pi times radius so it is going at three fourths that. So, so the S value is twenty three fifty six point seven feet. Uh, that would be the S when it's going that far around the track. So plugging in that S value, my A tangential would be four point seven one two feet per second squared. All right, let me put a star by that. That's the tangential acceleration. Now, but I don't can't forget about normal acceleration because uh, you know it's going around a circular path. So normal acceleration is v squared over rho. So I need the v at this point right here. I need the v at that point. I wasn't told the v at that point. I was told the v at this point, and I was told how much it was speeding up or slowing down. So maybe I can take those two pieces of information and find the V. So, so you know, I thought maybe I could start with just finding acceleration completely before I went to velocity, but it turns out uh, I'm, I'm going to need to find the velocity. How can you find the velocity if you are given the acceleration in terms of S? Well, first of all, this is not a constant acceleration problem, so don't use any constant acceleration uh, equations, right? D Acceleration is 0 0.002s. S is changing, so acceleration is changing. So this isn't constant acceleration. Uh, but if you're given acceleration and you're asked to find velocity, you that would be an integral, right? All right, given acceleration, asked to find velocity, that would be an integral. Which integral? 
Uh, if acceleration is given in terms of s, which integral can we use uh, to find velocity? So, so here I'm, I need to find velocity. How am I going to find velocity? This integral, how about this one? Integral v dv equals integral a ds. All right, the integral v dv is not just v, but v squared over 2 evaluated at v, you know, final, uh, and v initial squared over 2, which, which is, let me go ahead and plug that in, is its initial v is 2 squared over 2. All right, and what is the integral of 0 0.002s with respect to s? 0 0.002s squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to my final s, 2356.7. So I plug in that s right there. Plug in 0, but it's 0 um, when I plug that in. And I could find the velocity. So from that equation, I've got a velocity of 105.4 feet per second. So, so that was the answer to part of it. And I, I needed that in order to find the normal acceleration. In order to find the normal acceleration. So now I can plug in and I can find the normal acceleration is V squared 105.4. 105.4 squared over rho. Rho is 500 equals, I've got 22.21 feet per second squared. Put a star by that. So my acceleration would be these two things right there. It asks for the magnitude, so the magnitude of the acceleration would be 4.712 squared plus 22.21 squared. Take the square root, 22.7 uh, feet per second squared would be the magnitude of the acceleration.